Ahoy guys and welcome to the eruption update of Alex Caves. Today we shall go over everything added in this fantastic mod update. The latest version being for 1.20.1 Forge Neo Forge. If you want more info you can watch the full showcase of the first release. Hope you enjoy! Now one can add another chapter to the Prime Ordinal and Toxic Caves called Secrets by just using the Cave Codex. This latest update of Alex Caves adds volcanoes to the primordial caves made of flood basalt and primal magma. The petrified variant will act like magma blocks, however the liquid ones act like powdered snow but will set you afire instead. Apart from being a fire hazard, this is the place to summon the new boss like Structosaurus which is trapped underneath the magma. One can free it by throwing an ominous catalyst into the volcano. This is created with an amber curiosity dropped from time to time from amber. Within the lava, a colossal spiky undead creature will appear. After some pondering, it will rage, changing its appearance to a magmatic one and jump out of its home and unleash its anger upon the world while the sky turns red and the volcanoes will continue to spit magma cubes all over the place. Upon hitting the ground, it will be covered in liquid magma. The boss can jump far away, kick targets, breathe fire, roar creating magma cubes around it, swing its tail, stand on its legs and slam on the ground. This will either destroy blocks around it or if this monster roars loudly before, it will rage and instead of destroying the blocks with its stomp, it will fill them with magma. All the other attacks will also be buffed plus setting you on fire. Its appearance will change with magma dropping from its mouth, whereas all spikes and any crevices glow in a bright red. A while has to pass until it will calm down. After defeating this monstrosity, all of the liquid magma will disappear thankfully, and the living neutral counterpart of this monster will appear near Emma monoliths. The Atlantia, if attacked, it will swing its powerful tail or kick its target. If fed serene salad, one can temporarily ride it. When settled, the entity can unleash a powerful stomp, flattening the area below it, breed it with three stars, and upon death they drop heavy bones and dinosaur chops. After the boss dies, it will also draw tectonic shards glowing in a golden overlay. These can be crafted into two new items. The first use is the Extinction Spear. If the player impales a creature with it, the spirit of a Tremosaurus will lash out, dealing extra damage. However, hold right click to activate a special ability where three ghostly Grotoceraptops will circle around you, blocking incoming damage. If it hits an entity when thrown, the creature and the ground around it will be set afire. A fiery septerodon will appear, dragging the entity into the air before letting it fall. The spear will also automatically teleport back to you. The other use is to create a Tremozilla egg. This recipe also requires an immortal embryo which Hullbreakers drop, found in the abysmal chasm. To hatch this peculiar egg, one has to explode a nuke next to it. <laughs> this mutated mythical creature glows in a toxic green towering every player that dares to awaken it. However, unlike its appearance, this creature is neutral, attacking only when provoked. Its attacks are slashing with its claws, biting, swinging its tail, slam down with its foot, or its most devastating attack, the beam of energy. Before it begins, the back plates of this creature will begin to glow. Once all are glowing, the Tremozilla rears its head back, unleashing a beam that melts through hundreds of blocks. Do not fret though, as players can tame it by feeding it waste drums. After being domesticated, one can tell it to sit, wound or follow. Players can even ride it, getting control over its devastating beam of death. They can be bred with nuclear bombs. <laughs> Their last use of the tectonic shard is for a special skin. Just walk up to your desired dinosaur and cover it with a shard by right-clicking. It will have a fiery look, often in the colors red, orange or black. Here you can see all of them. Revert them back with another shard. If the player doesn't want this devilish skin, one can also use the amber curiosity for different colored skins. This also applies for the Tremozilla, unlocking a reddish and purplish skin. It also changes its beam accordingly. Enchants. 
I do not think there were any enchants added in the first release, but I do not remember. So I will just go over all of them, because the update log states a lot of new enchants have been added. So, the field extension increases the range of the Galena Gauntlet. Crystallization allows it to use diamond tools. Pharaoh's Hate increases the attack and mining speed of tools. With the enchant arrow inducting, the resistor shield will turn any deflected arrows into seeking ones. Heavy slam increases the first slam's damage. Swift wood increases the attack speed of the primitive club. Bonking allows the slain target to drop heads as if a charged creeper would have killed them, whereas the dazing sweep applies the stunt effect in a larger area. The extinction spears and chant called plummeting flight will increase the height from which the targets are dropped. Heard phalanx will summon more grotoceraptops around you blocking damage. The chomping spirit increases the tremosaurus bite. The ray guns and chant will decrease the charge used when firing with energy efficiency. Solar regains charge when standing in sunlight. X-ray shoots through blocks and gamma ray will change the beams and irradiated mobs color to blue dealing more damage. The author lands will summon another wave after the first one with second wave. Flinging, well, flings you further, <laughs> what a surprise. Sea swing will also summon a wave when normally melee attacking. Instead of a normal wave, tsunami <laughs> will generate a large, devastating one. The magic conch can be upgraded with charting coal to summon more deep ones. With lasting morale, the creatures will stay for longer. Lastly, taxing bellow won't use any durability when calling deep ones, but instead will lower one's reputation with the deep ones. The sea stuff's enveloping changes the bubble behavior, trapping the target forever in it, but stops stealing damage. Bouncing bolt will bounce between targets. Sea pairing will repair itself underwater. Instead of one, three bolts will be shot out with a triple splash. With soak seeking, bolt's accuracy is increased. Now to the totem of possession. With detonating death, possessed mobs will explode when dying. Rapid possession will make possessed mobs faster. <laughs> A sightless inflicts possessed with glowing when moving. When a possessed mob is killed, the killer will be possessed instead with astral transferring. The dagger can be upgraded with impeding stab, which increases the delay between the first and the ghostly stab, but increases damage for the second one. Whenever the floating knife hits, one's saturation will increase with a sated blade. Double one's floating knife with double stab. Now lastly, precise volley will concentrate the arrow rain of a dread bow in one spot. Dark knock increases charging speed. Relentless darkness will make the projectiles shoot forward, firing quickly. Twilight perfectionism will turn the bow reddish when fully charging. If fired at the right time, the arrow rain will be red, dealing massive damage. Lastly, shaded respite doesn't use any durability or arrows when using in darkness. The only easter egg I personally have found is you can make the Atlantia dance with the new fusion music disc. This is obtainable by blasting a nuke clipper with the Trimazilla. Well, that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then maybe leave a like or even consider to subscribe and we'll see us in the next video. Specific game. Ciao.